Today we will take iPhone 10 Wi-Fi FPC connector and touch connector as examples. To show you repair tricks for desoldering and soldering of iPhone 10 connectors. Apply some paste flux around the Wi-Fi FPC connector. Please be noted that connectors can be easily damaged by high temperature. Quick 858D helical wind hot air gun is recommended here. Heat the Wi-Fi FPC connector evenly with Quick 858D at 380 degrees Celsius, Airflow 6. Push the Wi-Fi FPC connector with tweezers when heating. If the Wi-Fi FPC connector can be moved, pick up one end of the connector with tweezers. Meantime, continue heating with the hot air gun. Pick up the Wi-Fi FPC connector carefully with tweezers. Tips, stop heating after the connector is removed. Otherwise, the connector might be deformed due to high temperature. Also, be careful with components around. Now we need to clean the bonding pad. Why we should clean the bonding pad before soldering? Once the connector has been removed, solder joints on the bonding pad are no longer uniform or full. There might be pseudo-soldering in the subsequent soldering process. The connector was originally soldered by high temp solder paste. We should apply medium temp solder paste to neutralize for the sake of subsequent soldering work. Apply some medium temp solder paste to the bonding pad. Here we need an RC component. Heat with quick 858D at 380 degrees Celsius, airflow 6. Clamp the RC component with tweezers. Drag the RC component across the pad. Make sure all solder joints on the pad are uniform and full. We can also apply some paste flux for better operation. Clean with PCB cleaner afterwards. Also, there are multiple ground pins on the bonding pad that were wrapped in big solder joints. To avoid pseudo soldering in subsequent soldering work, we need to clean these solder joints with rosin soaked solder wick. Now let's solder a new Wi-Fi FPC connector. Apply some paste flux to the bonding pad. Get a new Wi-Fi FPC connector in the right position. Solder with Quick 858D at 380 degrees Celsius, Airflow 6. Push the connector carefully with tweezers when heating. Make sure that all solder joints can be tinned with solder paste. Once done, check solder joints with tweezers one by one. 
make sure the soldering work has been completed perfectly. Problem 1. Cause, too much solder paste has been applied to the bonding pad when soldering. Result, the excess solder paste might adhere to the outside wall of the third space PCB, and therefore affect subsequent soldering of the new connector. Solution, clean the bonding pad again with solder wick. The touch connector enjoys the highest fault rate among iPhone 10 connectors. First, stick high temperature tape on components around the touch connector. Then apply some paste flux around the touch connector. Heat the touch connector evenly with quick 858D at 380 degrees Celsius, airflow 6. One minute later, pick up one end of the connector with tweezers. Meantime, Continue heating with the hot air gun. Pick up the touch connector carefully with tweezers. Tips, stop heating after the connector is removed. Also, be careful with components around. Now we need to clean the bonding pad. Apply some paste flux to the bonding pad. Then some medium temp solder paste. Here we need an RC component. Heat with quick 858D at 380 degrees Celsius, airflow 6. Clamp the RC component with tweezers. Drag the RC component across the pad. Make sure all solder joints on the pad are uniform and full. We can also apply some paste flux for better operation. Clean with PCB cleaner afterwards. Continue to clean big solder joints on the two ends. With rosin soaked solder wick. Clean with PCB cleaner afterwards. Now let's solder the touch connector. Apply some paste flux to the bonding pad. Get a touch connector in the right position. Solder with quick 858D at 380 degrees Celsius, airflow 6. Push the connector with tweezers when heating. Make sure that all solder joints can be tinned with solder paste. Clean with PCB cleaner afterwards. Once done, check solder joints with tweezers one by one. Make sure the soldering work has been completed perfectly. Please be noted that parameters in this video are only for reference. Please set the temperature of the hot air gun, according to the environment and device brand. In addition, Please pay attention to the electrostatic protection during operation. Feel free to visit our official website for more handwork courses.